All right, guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony, and of course, with me today is Hi. G Mizzle. So, me and Graham today, guys, got an exclusive for you. Uh, we got a storage unit for $240. So, we're getting ready. We're going to head to the bank and we're going to take some money out. Then, we're going to stop. We're going to get a lock and we're going to head out to the facility and get these treasures <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna send you to the past and you can watch me bidding on this thing we're from the town with the great football team we cheer the pittsburgh Steelers. all right guys so here's a behind the scenes exclusive you may be witnessing a 12 by 12 being bought by us. We are at $240 with less than six minutes to go. Let me show you what we're working with. And this is really my max bid, guys. If it goes any more than this, I'm going to tap out on this. But um, look at these right here. These are like really expensive like totes here really good quality um everything i'm noticing is uh either in a box or in a tote which is really nice i really like that hey guys so i'm doing two craft auctions this week so there's a lot of stuff in here i can use for that there's a lot of good stuff i can take to the flea market is used for yard sales as well more uh you know totes really nice uh storage containers and everything like that everything's very nicely stored which I really like as well. Some shelving and stuff that I can use downstairs. You know, it's all good stuff that I can reuse or resell. You know, brand new stuff in box. Not entirely sure what it is, but brand new stuff is always good. Another glimpse into those totes. You can actually see there's stuff in those. So whatever's in there, they definitely wanted to protect, which is definitely cool. All right, guys. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Expired. Final bid, 240. It says, hey, you won. Congrats. Let me just refresh just to make sure I didn't get sniped. Final bid, 240. We won this unit, guys. Let's go All right, get guys, it. So we're just getting to the facility right now. There it is. So I don't know if they're open yet or what's going on. We're gonna go try to find All out. All right, y'all, so we've been out here for about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. Uh, can't get a hold of anybody at the facility. There's no one in the office. It's by appointment only, apparently. So we went to McDonald's and we ate breakfast already and now we're at ikea because this is like literally the only ikea anywhere near us and they're not open till 11 either so we still got a half hour to wait for ikea to even open because we're gonna go buy some more ikea bags and stuff like that so we're batting a thousand today guys we are on that struggle bus we're getting ready to go clear out all these treasures but we can't get to them because they're locked up they won't let them out <laughs> All right, guys, so we did get a hold of the uh, facility manager. Uh, they called us back. Uh, we had to wait here about three hours. She should be here shortly to meet us, thank the Lord. But, um, I mean, I guess luckily today's a Tuesday, and I was able to get a hold of Kelly, Hip Lip, and Mama, and reschedule our Bible study, which literally should have been starting the time this lady gets out here to meet us. Uh, but we were able to move it up a couple hours and we were able to have Bible study live here in the parking lot of the storage facility. So if you guys um, aren't aware of that, uh, Kelly and I do a Bible study every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, if you see this picture right here, that is the channel. It's called Flippin' Hope. Check out Graham, guys. So she's the only person I've ever met that is gonna tire herself out before she unloads a storage unit. <laughs> so I guess she's been sitting too long, so she went and 
take a little bit of a walk in the parking lot, and as you can see, she's just kind of, she's lost in her own little world. I don't know if she really understands what's going on here. Graham, where you at? Graham! Graham! What do you think she's thinking, guys? Like, what's going on in her mind right now? What must it be? really curious to know just hanging out in a parking lot but she has no rhyme or reason for which direction she's walking in she's just like sort of all over the place um, an alarm might go off so don't worry okay um, my boss and I are notified but it's every time we do the last so. okay there it is. It goes off for about a minute, but it gets, it turns off. Okay. Is there lights in here? There is. There's one right in the middle there. Okay, awesome. Um, I think it's brighter the longer they're on, so if it's kind of dim, it'll get closer. Okay, awesome. So, awesome. Um, can you guys have, I don't know if you're local or not, but I can yeah, get you to the end of the month. So that would be fantastic if you could. Get this stuff out of here. Thank so, you. Yeah. Um, we'll we'll most likely you, have it out before then, but that would be great. Fine. The card that I gave you has an email on it. Okay. Um, or my direct line's on there if you want to either call me or email me and just okay. say, hey, we're done. That's all I need. Okay, great. All right? Fantastic. All right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so you much. Guys. All right, Graham. So we got some treasures here. Yep. Oh, he's see what I see right off the bat. <laughs> oh, it's, it's brand new too. It's still got the tag. Yeah. What? This is amazing. Look, we got these guys over here. I think these guys would look really nice at your house. What do you think? Not. Yours. Yeah. Look at these. Look, this is all Halloween. Is this the perfect time of year to come into all this? Yeah. Wow. Like, so, look at these. Hats. Orange hats. Am I getting a hat too? Yeah. Oh, these, I think you hang them. Uh, yeah. yeah, these will probably be in the auction. Uh, guys, uh, I will be doing an auction on YouTube. I will share that information out in the e and Beyond Facebook group. Make sure you guys go join. There's a description down below. Like him. He's got a red ball. Yeah. All right, guys, so in the comments down below, we have $240 into this unit. Do you think this was a good investment? Look at this. This is kind of flimsy, but probably get fixed. It's a nice little yeah. thing. These tubs, guys, those will be very useful. Um, you know, these shelving units will be very useful. Ashley was just looking to buy those ones like yeah. this, only smaller. Might be able to just Are give her these ones. Too? Everything in here is mine. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Would you like a lighted gift box? As you can see, guys, it looks like they're in there. Hmm. Yep. I see that one right there. There's no slides. Yep. So as you can see, everything is very well taken care of. More lights in here. Take this to get this stuff no, and that's super cool that they're giving us to the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Look at this good Santa Claus over here. Santa Claus napkins. These will be in the auction. Look at all these napkins. Oh yeah, all this stuff, all this stationary stuff. We'll have to make a big tote of stuff just for the auctions all this stationary stuff because it's a craft auction we're going to be doing guys it's the main reason i got this look ribbons bows this entire that entire tote right there is going to be in the auction i don't know what that is you know what i'm thinking oh christmas, christmas tree. tree yep that's a big one too wow for this origami something i don't know what the heck that is look is this a table or is this Part of the shelf. Oh yeah, shelving. That's like empty. I bet you that shelving is probably part of this right yeah. here. 
So that goes as part of that, I believe. Just a box to it. Yeah. Yep. Boom, guys. So we got the complete shelf now. So boom, boom, boom. So we'll take that apart, put it back in there. That, that one there, is that a shelf too? I don't know. I'm curious to know. What do you guys think in this one? It says origami in it. Yeah. Whoever owned this unit really loved the holidays. Because this is, like, look, all this stuff's going to go in the auction. All these, like, decorative things. It's even a nice little wooden yeah. thing there. Well, looks like there was some kind of globe that should have been in there. More like ribbons and stuff. That'll be good for the auction. Are these in here? What do you guys think? Wait, is there something in there? Nope. Not in there. Dang. Normally when you see something like that, you think something good's gonna be in it. That's a nice little thing, huh? Yeah, it is. Like United States Postal Service. Yeah. You'll say, where'd you get that? Uh oh. Is this one of those ones you put on your car? Yeah, this is Rudolph for your car, Graham. Mm. Bunch of Christmas decorations, lights, glass ornaments in here. We'll have to go through this like more in depth later. Look at this. This is round improvements. What is this? Huh? Dead body. Dead body found Dead body. in storage unit. What? All right. Ah, oh, it's like wreaths. Either that or like wreath materials or something. Oh, my back room. Get right off in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Ash might be excited to see these shelves here. I don't know if that's what she was looking for, though. They might be too big. Maybe not. I need to put one here and one here. Oh, we got... It says pumpkins on it. We have pumpkins? We have pumpkins, ladies and gentlemen. Mucho pumpkins. Those will be in the auction. I don't know a whole lot about decorations, but I'm pretty sure we probably have over $300 worth of decorations. There's some in here. Yep. Halloween. Party bags and stuff. That'll definitely go in the auction. All that stuff, big lots of it. I think so, yeah. I think we're going to do really good. As you can see, like, look, Michael's boxes. Mm -hmm. So that tells me that this person, like, was really heavy into this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They probably spent thousands of dollars worth of money on these. And they didn't, take, they didn't come to get it. Well, I mean, with COVID, you know, who knows what's going on. Yeah. You know, God forbid the person could have passed away. They could be in a nursing home. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So... What we got here? Are these bowls or masks? Yes. Oh, you must hang them. Yeah. Hang them on the wall. Maybe hang them right here. Right here? <laughs> Grandma lantern. 
What in the world is that? Fans. Oh, it probably blows yeah. those out for like Halloween. Putting the grandma lantern away. These are just lights. I'm guessing these are also lights as Christmas lights. White candles. Look at that. They're like in box and everything. Heavy, so they're in there. Big old QVC box. That thing isn't too sturdy, though. No, I mean, it's not like the ones I have at home. But still, you know. Look at this. This thing's on wheels, even. That's nice. What? Yeah. I'll probably use these for storage You're in the future. Keep the bags, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'm keeping out all the stuff. Okay, guys, so normally when you get a storage unit, about 80% of what you get is going to be trash. And the rest of it, you know, 10, 15, 20% of it is going to be your resellables. This unit is going to be like completely the opposite. I'm almost positive 80% of this is going to be resellable stuff and maybe 20% is going to be stuff we have to pitch or donate. Christmas pillars, blankets, snowmen are uh, uh, on the shelf. Yep. And this is the perfect time of year, guys, for all of this stuff because all of these occasions are literally now. You know, there's Halloween. Did we show them this? Yep, we showed them the elephant. Uh, what's it, What's underneath the elephant? That's just a box, I think. For is that the elephant's box? No, it looks like there might be something else under there. Semi flush ceiling fixture. Ah, it's a ceiling fixture. It's a whole big ceiling fixture. That's cool. It's in there too. Get up there, elephant. This is going to be real easy when we get the new vehicle. I'll still fill the van today, though. Definitely going to get as much stuff as possible for this auction. Yard More pumpkins here, guys. You can even fill the pumpkins. Yard witches. You're going to go hang out in the yard. Yeah. What do we got here? So I say Halloween rugs, Christmas and Halloween rugs. Wow. Yeah, this is like a lot of this stuff's going to be good eBay inventory because they got a ton of pumpkin stuff. Look, they have like snowmen in there, snowmen in there gold star special ornaments be careful that's the one ash is going to want into special ornaments yeah graham thinks a dead body is in this bag guys what do you think is going to be in here dead body all right it's heavy it's real heavy it's very very heavy uh, that's there's all kinds of stuff in here Guys, they do it big with this stuff. Ah, oh, lights. Pink lights. Red lights. Yeah, any of you guys that know about decorations and stuff, let me know. Like, what do we got on our hands here? Like, I know just by looking at these containers they're in that these were taken very good care of. And these containers have to be expensive expensive like i would say that's at least a 20 to 30 dollar bag that it's in possibly even more so like all of this stuff she bought shelving for it i say she i don't know it could have been a dude i haven't looked for, oh sorry graham i haven't looked deep enough to see if there's any names or anything on the paperwork but as you can see like all of this christmas garland and stuff yeah, whoever this lady, I keep saying lady, I'm assuming it's a lady, whoever this lady is. This is. Ah, munchies for monsters for Halloween. Oh, yeah. Graham's finding a bunch of decorative plates and stuff. Oh, that's a pretty cover. Mm hmm. What do you think, Graham? Was this an old lady that had this stuff? Might have been. Wrapped 
could, whatever it is. Probably a bomb that'll blow up. <laughs> I was waiting to see Graham drop it. Yeah, what is it? Oh, it smells good. It's a candle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could tell this was an old lady. Takes one to know one. <laughs> Look at these. Trying to, but you make a better door in the window. Who? You. Oh, one of those uh, dish rags. Dish towels. There you go. Uh, I got it. I got it. If it goes in first, and then that thing goes on the top. With that bowl. What is it? Munches for monsters. Munchies for grannies. Granny got that munchies. This is like perfect for you, Graham, because you like to snoop. Okay. We'll be out at like uh, yard sales and Graham will be like, I wonder what the inside of their house looks like. And she'll be like, I want to just go in there and look through their stuff. So like with storage lockers, you can literally go in and look through people's stuff. So it's like a dream come true. What else? Well, I'm going to look to see what's all up in this stuff here. Ugh, happy harvest that goes with those guys. But I'm gonna stick it here so I don't lose it. Got a moon. Black foliage. This is literally just straight up organized decor. Everything looks like we got a bunch of extension cords. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can tell this was an old lady. Got all these extension cords. Do you yourself have many extension cords, Graham? Yeah. Look at that. What was that like a black cat candle holder? Yeah. That's cool. Feels like it's in there. Oh, what's this? Halloween decorations, table runners, tablecloth. More Halloween decorations. These are nice little totes too. Mm -hmm. Full of decorations. Strobe lights and stuff. Found a leg. There's another one down there. Oh, is there? Yeah. Probably goes to something bigger then. All right, I guess we can pack that back in there. Might as well move this whole thing together, you know? Mm -hmm. Lady got it nice and organized for us. No sense of reinventing the wheel. He was right, guys. There is a body. Ah! Look at that, guys. That ain't right. It looks like Nate when he wakes up with all that hair in the <laughs> face. Uh, no, no, it looks like Nate when he shaves. <laughs> so we've got some witches in here, guys. Got the broomstick. You want to take a ride, Graham? yeah all right look at this guys she was so descriptive that even the boxes tell you exactly what's in them for bait them it's awesome it had to be an old lady nobody would take their time to do all this only old ladies huh yeah only old ladies take their time to do things guys yes. no, you heard it here first if you're not old you're probably rushing through life Oh, look, this will be available in the auction. Look, you got Mickey Mouse there. These are like holiday tags for oh, gifts yeah. and stuff. Absolutely. That'll definitely be in the auction. Got bows. You won't get that All that stuff's going. So you'll see all that stuff in the auction, guys. A lot of this stuff, too, you'll see proper unboxings when we get it home. Uh, just for now, this is going to be a brief overview of what's in this unit just so you guys have an idea of what we bought nice all right guys graham couldn't wait to unbox this one because we found an angel in there yeah. so if you're gonna find some nice uh, stuff in there there's a star for a tree 
I don't know, what do we got here? Got a snowman, it feels empty though. It feels. I can't do it with one here. It might be empty too. Some of these feel like they might be empty, so we'll have to go through these before we load them. No sense in taking trash. I guess we got more lights, as you can see, brand new lights. So these will be good to put in the auction, brand new sealed inventory. Uh, we even got some used ones in here. So that stuff will all be available in the uh, craft decoration auction as well. All right, guys, let's get another one here. It looks like we got more no, decorations. Man. These are very well wrapped, tall Santa. These are all very well wrapped. I may wait, guys, till we get this stuff home. We'll do an unboxing of this properly so nothing gets damaged. Okay, take a picture. Bye. Kiss me. The title of this video is I Made Out with a Snowman in this Abandoned Storage Unit. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, look, you can put something in them. Yeah. Okay, get back in the bed. Don't stay too long. Yeah, we'll give you guys a detailed unboxing of this one later. Ah. Oh, uh, looks like this will be similar. This is a bunch of ornaments and stuff, guys. We'll you probably do a we'll probably do a detailed unboxing of this one later as you well. Know this was an old lady, no. We'll let Graham show you what that one is. Uh coffee. You you guys will definitely see these in the uh, auction as well, guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I might buy some of these. I'm sure you will. Oh, I think you look like a little kid on Christmas right now, Graham. You're finding all these treasures. This is a reindeer. Is this like an old lady's paradise in here? Yeah. You can tell it's an old lady. Look at this. You're going to put them on your shoulder? And he won't fit. What is he, silver? Gold, silver, yeah. It's a nice reindeer. <laughs> You're nuts. Who the hell is this thing? Well, looks like he has a uh, little friend over here. This is the same thing, just wrapped up. We got some uh, towels in here. We got some, looks like runners and Santa hats and stockings. What the heck is this? Oh, I see, said the blind man. Yeah, you can tell this is He had all the good stuff in But yeah, guys, as you can see, most of the time, like, we'd be picking stuff out of these totes. But, I mean, it's good stuff the entire way through all of these. You know, it's nothing, like, super rare or high dollar. But, I mean, it's bread and butter all day long. Yeah. Did we open this one, guys? I don't remember. Yeah. Christmas pillows, blankets, snowman, elf on the shelf. It's like literally, you can trust what they say. Look at the elf on the oh, shelf. Is he cute? Oh, look, the elf's on the shelf. <laughs> He's on my shoulder. Yep. Elf on the shoulder. I feel like Graham wants to move into the storage unit, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, look how cute he is. He got a smile. Yeah, he does. Okay, you want to put him back in the box? Yep. Yeah. We'll put this box on the cart, right, too. Here is the uh, one that we didn't open yet. So, I want to see what's in this one. Uh, because... Yeah, that, that was Halloween. Well, I know it's Halloween, but we opened the other two. We didn't open this one. Oh, look. This is all brand... Well, I don't want to say brand new, but it's all box stuff. Hold on. This is still... <laughs> What is that? Like a gargoyle or something? Yeah. Uh, He's ugly, ain't he? Yeah. But like, look, there's like QVC stuff in here still in box, guys. So we're bound to find some probably high dollar um, decorations in here. But the big stuff we're going to leave for today, guys. Uh, all I'm going to take today is this cart right here and this cart right yeah. here. And probably like a couple other small things that are in here. Um, since the lady did give us to the end of the month, I'm going to take advantage of that and not kill my back 
trying to do everything in a day. Especially since we're in Pittsburgh for this unit and I don't have to drive to Ohio. To get as, it, as you can so. see, this is a, a decent score. Um, I'm gonna call it a $300 break even. We paid 240, there were some fees and stuff associated with using storage treasures. So leave it in the comments, guys. Do you think we will lose money on this unit, make money on this unit, or break even on this unit? Keep in mind, a lot of this stuff is going to auction right away this week. I say. <laughs> what is it? What are the three? Break even? Lose money or make money? Make money. Make money. All right, guys, so Graham and I just finished loading the van, and we loaded it about as full as we could get it right now. The entire back seat is filled all the way to, look, you can't even see out the back, the back window. So we are super full, and we still have over half of a 12 by 12 filled upstairs. So we're going to come back tomorrow, um, and we're going to get some more stuff. But for today, I'd say that that's a pretty good start. Especially since they gave us the month, I'm going to take advantage of it being local and not kill myself. All right, y'all. Just got home. Just unpacked the van. Everything is put away. Uh, well, everything we brought home is put away. We still have at least one more full van load, if not two. So keep you up to date with the latest. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit that like and also hit that bell so you know when we release these videos. Until next time, guys, take it easy.